Hello, everyone. Kevin Chip coming to you from the Ascent Studios, located somewhere deep in the southeastern United States. Apparently of interest uh, to this current administration, uh, we had a, a, a stealth uh, fighter, stealth bomber fly over. We're in, way out in the middle of nowhere, the studio is. And you can't see us uh, via Google Earth, which I've mentioned several times. And we had an F-117 stealth fighter fly right low over our house with its lights on lighting up the farm five times. And I've uh, talked about that story in detail on another, another program. Um, as many of you know, uh, I consider it my calling to expose uh, government corruption and specifically uh, CIA corruption. As you know, the CIA, in my view, is the most unconstitutional agency in our government. <clears throat> it was founded uh, on uh, basically unconstitutional, uh, by unconstitutional means. Uh, it, is, it has done horrible, illegal things down through its history. It continues to do that. Uh, and I will show you in a moment that the CIA has been intimately involved in Ukraine. They were involved in the 2014 Ukraine coup, which is rife with corruption. And it involves the, the occupant of the White House, the current president now, Joe Biden, uh, who, by the way, everyone, is simply a puppet, a mentally declining puppet. Uh, he reads his cards. He reads his prompters that are given to him by global elites that uh, have the, the goal and intention of dismantling our constitutional republic and replacing it with a Marxist system. And that, sadly, is not an understatement. One of the chief controllers behind Joe Biden is Barack Obama, a clear globalist, as well as other elites like Bill Gates, uh, the World Economic Forum, connect directly to President Joseph Biden and others. This is a serious situation. We are in a national crisis in our country, and that crisis is coming down from the White House itself. And we as Americans need to stand up with courage, and we need to speak out against it, and we need to stand against it. And that's what I'm doing. God willing, I will continue to do so. As many of you know, I don't threaten easily. Uh, and uh, when I'm threatened, I just get more determined. And I want to uh, give you an intro here, uh, everyone, to something that, of course, you're not going to see in the news media. Uh, so uh, that's my goal, is to inform you of, of this information. Let me show you uh, a slide that I put together on this that explains. Now, are there biosecurity labs in Ukraine? The government has come out and lied and said, no, there are not. Uh, sadly, uh, Victoria Nuland, former State Department top official, slipped and said there are. Uh, and indeed, uh, upon research, I have learned that there is no question there are biosecurity labs in Ukraine, and they're involved in activity that most Americans would decry. Uh, and let me give you an example here. The company in Ukraine that's operating, storing pathogens, is called Metobiota. Metobiota is operating in Ukraine. And guess who is helping to fund Metobiota? You guessed it, InQtel, the CIA's covert arm that gets into companies, penetrates them, and starts feeding them with CIA information and money in Metobiota in Ukraine. Burisma, remember Burisma, Hunter Biden's company where he made up to $80,000 a month for doing nothing. Burisma is intimately involved and connected to Metobiota. As a matter of fact, Seneca Partners, Hunter Biden's company, donated $500,000 to Metobiota in Ukraine for research on pathogens. Burisma was intimately involved in that. Um, here is Slochevsky, the head of Burisma, very close ties to Hunter Biden, of course, Biden was on his board. He was connected to Burisma and connected to Metobiota. And here we have the uh, president, uh, current president of the United States, the occupant of the People's White House, who uh, claimed that uh, he had he knew nothing about his son's business dealings. Sadly, here's a photograph of Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and two officials from Burisma palling around and playing golf. Uh, so there's no question about the fact that there are biosecurity labs in Ukraine, the CIA is involved, Metabiota is involved, and they are actually storing and working on pathogens in Ukraine. Uh, if you guys, uh, let's see here, uh, hold on everybody, let me go up 
and stand by because we're having some technical issues here. Um, let's see what's going on. There we go. Um, well, that was interesting. <clears throat> uh, welcome to my world. Uh, if you want more information on this, I get into great detail on Metabiot and the CIA's role in uh, uh, these labs in Ukraine. It's, uh, it, it, it's alarming. It's sad. The 2014 coup was a CIA-sponsored coup. Uh, there is absolutely no excuse for, for, for what Vladimir Putin is doing. Uh, he has displayed himself as a madman. Uh, I'm hoping and praying that the, uh, the Russian government, military and people uh, stand up and get that man out of his position of power. It, 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 all of this does not excuse Vladimir Putin's actions. But we as Americans need to understand and know all the facts involved in this so we can make proper decisions as we hold our government accountable and demand uh, democracy and demand that we uh, adhere and stay with the Constitution. I'm giving you more updates like this. Again, if you want more detailed information and if you want to see my book, I just released Conspiracy to Silence, which shows where the CIA illegally redacted unclassified information you can go to patreon.com slash Kevin underscore ship. That's patreon.com slash Kevin underscore ship, S-H-I-P-P, as in Paul. And you can see that information that I have released there. Uh, it's great. I'm glad you guys, uh, thanks for all the great comments. It's so good to be back on with you again. And trust me, there's more coming. <laughs>